Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, I mean, I have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from this deck. I'm not sure what it's called, but anyway. Let's see where the energy is, you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I'm starting to um, do the, look at that, whoa, big message, big message. I'm starting to do the little short. So, you guys, any any type of support is grateful. I'm grateful for it. You guys watching all my videos, I really enjoy it. Emotions are here because it's time for you to learn in regards to love and also yeah, about the twin flame energy and let it go. So I'll read it to you uh, just in case you want to know. I like to read the cards and um, give you my perspective as well. But the emotions are here. Look deep within your emotions. And when it comes to learning, let love show you how to learn from each other. And then it says Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. But the yin and yang is here. Like the yin and yang symbols, twin flames contain twin flames contain an aspect of each other's um, characters with, within themselves. And then it says to let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. And so that is what it seems like is happening here. I'm going to go ahead and clarify what you, what you are learning. I'm talking weird today. I'm saying, I'm saying M's and all kind of stuff. So what you are learning when it comes to this situation, yeah, okay, so we have the Six of Wands and we have the Queen of Cups energy. Your intuition is just letting you know that there's going to be victory here. So you have to learn from the past. You have to learn from the past mistakes. You have to learn from the past lessons because mistakes, hold on one second, my son is calling me, hold on. Okay, so yeah, it's just about learning from the past. It has nothing to do with, you know, you, you you know, being, well, it has a lot to do with being upset or just literally not really being upset with love and not being upset with the person, whoever you consider your twin flame, but your intuitive compassion gives you a lot of, a lot of leeway to deal with stuff until you don't want to deal with it and your emotions get the best of you. So when it comes to Cupid, okay, the tower energies, yeah, when it comes to love, when it comes to new beginnings, Love, it, it has to be an ending when it comes to love, and it's a painful transition that you have to go through, but emotional readiness is where you are when it comes to your generosity of how you give and receive love, but you have to look at things from a different perspective and see what it is that you did in the past that you don't want to repeat in the future. This is just lessons that we have to learn, especially when it comes to the yin and yang, the twin flame energy, you mirroring the energy. So now I bet you guys are mirroring the things that, you were that one what that one person was doing they're mirroring the things that you um that you're you were doing and now you're mirroring the things that they were doing and basically um um uh basically what's happening is that this is to create either a perfect partnership with this person coming back around or with a new person but anyway it goes you're learning from your mistakes you're learning from your less from the lessons of the past and how much love you give uh in the beginning and you won't make the same mistake twice you're not going to give that same love uh that same type of energy or you know see potential in a certain situation when you know the bells and whistles are there but you know they haven't showed you anything somebody has to show you better that they can tell you in regards to love and their emotions and what it is that they want so clarifying let go let go comes with growth yeah growth and then also having at, taken action when yeah there is a loss uh insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness and that is based upon your emotions so emotions are twice here so you're just learning from the energies of the past and what what you need to do um when it comes to uh you know just just going through this you know just going through things and you know the only thing that i can tell you is that letting go isn't easy but learning once you do let go that you know a lot of the things that you were doing and experiencing in this situation you were doing this on your own basically you were giving your all to this energy and so 
when it comes to um this is the spirit shield oracle the card comes in the reverse new hobbies yeah so when it comes to the old you're learning from the old and it's not going to be a, a a new hobby that you take on anymore when it comes to what you've learned you're not taking on new hobbies you know or new projects because that's basically what this was was a project and the cupid energy when it comes to yeah feeling attacked and you know uh dealing with well it says sexuality maybe somebody's sexuality or just feeling like you know they're attacking you like you're not enough when that is your everything and they just aren't the perfect partner for you so the right now at this point this twin flame energy isn't matching we're going to clarify the two of cups energy unsure energy yeah unsure about whether you're going to be lonely moving forward um or if you were going to be lonely in this situation when it came to dealing with this person so you know the the thing is is that you just basically um you know you just basically have to move forward and go from there and it's just it's just it's, it's harder to do and it, harder to easier to say but harder to do and that comes with understanding that yeah habits uh this is this is food here but this is with you taking care of yourself, you know. This is with you going through and understanding that this is cer certain things and certain energies you have to be able to um, see through and see what your addictions are and what's good and what's bad for you. And so you're going to change up the way you do things. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, it's just about you making better habits, making better choices and doing things. Uh, because, again, it's not easy to go through these situations, but when you take action and when you learn and when you learn to let go of things that no longer serve you or things that don't have your best interests or things that are, are becoming a hassle for you, then, you know, you start to change the way you do things. You start to uh, plan, and uh, that's where the rapid-fire planning comes in because, excuse me, I burped, I'm sorry. Here it is, meal planning. And, um, you know, better habits, better eating habits, things like this, feeling alone when you want to feel this way, yin and yang, you want things to work and mesh. But, you know, again, the thing is, is that there has to be a lot of learning again twice and chemistry in the situation. And love is a lot. Chemistry is another thing. But basically, so basically what I was trying to say that didn't come out right is because my son came in the room, but... And he's very loud, so I have to hurry up and pause it because he will just, blah, mom. So anyway, it's going to take more than just chemistry. And that's what you learned, chemistry and the feeling in order for you to move forward with anyone, you know. And does that make sense? And so that's where you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness, five of cups energy, which is haunting losses and emotions, you know, looking deep within. And the bottom of the deck is sleep no phones in bed so again you're changing your patterns you're changing the way you do things the phone was in the bed because you were waiting for this person to call um now your phone is on the desk across the across the bed or you're not even paying attention to the rings or you know you took off the certain ring tones um you're clearing spaces you're cleaning up the clutter you're letting go of the old memories and you're moving forward and learning from them if that makes sense and so that's kind of how I see that. Uh, let me see. I'm going to pull from the, doo -doo -doo -doo, what is this called? Uh, this tarot deck. I don't know what it's called. But um, this is the cozy, I think it's the cozy witch tarot deck. But I'm going to pull from here to see what else comes out. Because, again, you're looking at things in a, in a different light. And you're learning from the things that, yep, moon. Okay. So it says five of cups. Again, this came out twice. So three emotions. Actually, it's kind of three times. Look deep within your emotions because five of cups, it says spilled tea isn't the end of the world. So again, that's the reason why you're learning from these situations. And also the moon card is here. Uh, the four of pentacles. Treat yourself to something shiny every now and then. Now and again. And so you're you're going to treat yourself. You're going to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're eating better. You're doing things. Empress energy. There is there is beauty to be found in every experience. And beauty in every experience is understanding and learning and learning to let go 
you know, the song, know when to hold them, know when to fold them. It's not easy, but once you learn the people who complete you and not deplete you and the people who want to see you happy, no matter the circumstances or the outcomes, come together with your coven. You're going to find people who complete you. You're going to understand the difference between the type, the type of people that you were around because you felt like they were your twin flame or you felt like they, um, you know, you had no other choice but to be around them. Um, and then it says the moon, take time for deep self-reflection. It, uh, taking time for deep self-reflection is essential. So that is where you're learning to meditate, to kind of understand. And this is why I'm going to pull from the spiritual oracle deck spiritual journey oracle deck yeah dreams yeah so it says you are encouraged to keep a dream journal to decipher messages spirit is conveying to you so sleep dreams i don't know and then here it is she's writing in a journal so again you're writing down the things that you want that's my camera my tv the camera is on my tv right here so that's what that is challenge ahead it says face this challenge head on and look at it as opportunity for improvement you will you may be tested but stand in your beliefs and be strong and so that is what you're doing you're standing in your beliefs and you're being strong and you're understanding and you're seeing the beauty in every situation maybe a birth maybe just nurturing a situation or maybe just learning to let go of things you have no control over and going from there so i'm going to pull from the four agreements and again i'll put the links above if you are interested in learning my perspective of the four agreements um, and then i'll pull from the crystal deck and again you can click that that focuses on the chakras um all right the aqua roar quartz i think that's all chakras so you need to learn how to ground yourself and learn the difference oh okay uh, it's the throat, the third eye, and the, and the crown chakra, which is spiritual awareness, yes, communication, and channeling. So, their dreams, through your dreams, right? And it says, my spirit is limitless. My spirit is limitless. And then we have the four agreements. Don't take anything personally. Love and respect yourself. Learning to let go and understanding your differences. It says, you are never responsible for the actions of others, but you are responsible for you. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. You may hurt for a while, but your heart will eventually heal. And so that is what you're doing. You're learning to love and let go and, you know, go from there. Uh, who is that? I loved and I loved. Rihanna and Drake, I think that's what it was. But anyway, so let's let this old energy go. And now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation i love you guys